Can a common muscle building supplement also act as a potent brain enhancer? Yes, it can. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I am Jared Veldier with Blindside Health, bringing you the latest and greatest in the world of health and wellness and human optimization. I want you to be at your best. I wanna to live to 100, I want you to live to 100. If this is your first time checking out one of these videos, you might wanna subscribe if you wanna make that one of your goals too. Not only are we gonna get there, but we're gonna get there healthy and we're going to be well on our way. We're going to have a high quality life getting there. Anyway, jumping into today, guys, I wanna talk about the supplement that is commonly used in the world of, of sports and athletics uh, to build muscle, but more recently has come on the scene as being a potent brain enhancer, and that supplement is creatine. So in the body, creatine is able to bind to a phosphate group, and then it's able to lend that phosphate group to adenosine diphosphate uh, to make adenosine triphosphate, which is our body's um, cellular energy currency. That's what we're using for our uh, cellular energy, be it our skeletal muscle, our brain, our cardiac muscle, the smooth muscle. Um, ATP is very important and we need that to function properly. And our brain is very, very needy when it comes to energy. It needs a lot. And so when we can increase ATP production and get more ATP to the brain, we are sharper mentally. Studies have shown that creatine can help with mental acuity and working in long-term memory. So it is going to boost the hippocampal region in your brain, which is responsible for all memory production, short-term and long-term. So it's gonna help optimize that. Are you feeling kind of spacey, worn down? Hey, I got brain fog. I can't remember what I was trying to say. I can't remember what I needed to do. Boom, maybe creatine's a little low. I'd suggest taking some creatine to get that hippocampal activity back to where it needs to be. Um, and creatine is, is super safe, it's, it's very cheap, and you don't need a lot. Um, I'd recommend starting at two grams. If you don't feel any different, maybe bump that up to five grams. And if you're very active and working out, you're gonna run through that creatine faster because your muscles are gonna use some of it. Um, and you're going to be making more ATP, so you're gonna need more creatine. So I would recommend closer to that five gram dosage. So our body can make small amounts of creatine, but these, these amounts are so low that it doesn't really optimize the effects that creatine can bring about in our body. Um, if you're a big meat eater, perhaps you're eating a pound of, of meat or more a day, you might not need creatine because creatine is also found in meat, especially red meat. Which brings me to my next point. If you are a vegetarian, vegan, or eat primarily plant-based foods, I would highly recommend looking into supplementing with some form of creatine. Um, it's going to help not only your brain, but it's going to help uh, all that proper ATP production throughout your body. Um, all, those, all those tissue systems, all those organs that need ATP to function properly, that creatine is going to help. And there's been several studies that have looked exclusively at vegetarians and have noted the dramatic effects that creatine can play, uh, especially with cognition. And I will link all these studies, guys. I have several studies pulled up right now. I will link those all in the description below so you can check those out if you'd like. Um, these studies are, are pretty interesting. And uh, one of the studies actually looked at creatine in, in sleep deprivation uh, patients, um, people that were suffering from acute sleep deprivation, and looked at caffeine and creatine and a control group of neither, and found that creatine was just as effective as caffeine at preventing uh, the acute sleep deprivation symptoms. Um, it was also looked at uh, in traumatic brain injury with young kids and showed that it decreased uh, the case of headaches and some of the other symptoms that are associated with traumatic brain injury. Um, it's been shown in elderly patients to improve cognition, and it's been shown in just regular old healthy adults to improve cognition, that working memory, that mental acuity. It's going to make you sharp. It's going to take away the brain fog. Um, you know, if you guys feel uh, a little sluggish in the afternoon, if you feel... Uh, like you're just not quite optimally there uh, in the old noggin, uh, take some creatine. I love taking creatine throughout my NFL career. Uh, not only to stay big and strong and fast on the field, but it was also very good for my brain and hitting heads constantly, you wanna make sure you're taking care of your brain. So it was very important to me to have this in my regimen. I highly recommend it to anybody who's looking to increase and protect their neurological health because it is very good at doing that. It is very well researched. It's very affordable and it's very easy to take. All you gotta do is mix it in some water. It's flavorless, stir it up, drink it, put it in your smoothie. You can find uh, capsules. Um, it's very, very cheap, very easy, very effective and very safe. 
So my go-to creatine is from Thorn. You guys know I'm a big fan of Thorn products. They use Crea Pure creatine in their product. Uh, Crea Pure is the highest possible quality of creatine monohydrate you can get. So you know you're getting the good stuff. One ingredient on the label, and that's Crea Pure, creatine monohydrate. That's what I take. I'll take two grams if I'm not working out with my, my morning collagen peptide shake. Um, and then after I work out or if I have a big workout day, I will take about four to five grams after I work out uh, just to make sure that I am locked and ready to roll with proper levels of creatine because I want to make as much cellular energy as possible to fuel my body with what it needs and fuel my mind with the fuel that it needs. If you guys are finding this information useful, please hit that like button for me. It lets me know that what I'm doing is beneficial for you. And like I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed already, please do, because I don't want you to miss out on this stuff, guys. It's going to help you. It's gonna help you in the now, it's gonna help you in the future, it's gonna help you get to that age of 100 and be as healthy as possible when you get there. I will throw a link in the description below for the Thorn Creatine if you guys are interested. Um, you can go ahead, poke around, and, and check out those links as well, looking at all those great studies that have been performed in humans double blind, placebo controlled, all that good stuff. So uh, it is legit. I encourage you to check it out. I appreciate you joining me today and I'll talk to you later.